Hello everybody, this is Gregory with Permanent Weight Loss Made Easy, where there should be no hesitance in your weight loss and in your weight maintenance. Today we're going to talk about whether or not you can essentially eat whatever you want while you're either losing weight or maintaining your weight, if it's possible. Now before we begin, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so these episodes come fresh to you. And also, if you need help with weight loss, contact me through the Clarity FM link found here in the episode notes. As you guys know, I've lost over 100 pounds and I've kept it up for 34 years, so I might be able to help you. All right, is it possible to live a life where you can essentially eat whatever you want uh, while maintaining your weight? Yeah, I think there is a world uh, that you can do that. Now, is it something that I recommend maybe when you're losing the weight on the weight loss journey? Well, there's two different you know viewpoints. One viewpoint is you should have a cheat day or two cheat days while you're losing the weight or even when you're weight maintaining. And we know that the majority of people who lose more than 50 pounds regain it. And so there's one argument where you can't eat perfectly every day, so you should have a cheat day. And others would say, well, the cheat day can easily spiral out into two cheat day, three cheat day, four cheat day, kind of like accumulation of vice or the accumulation of, of, of virtue. Like once you start doing good things, it makes it easier to do good things. Once you start doing vices like watching porn or skipping your workouts or whatever, it just becomes easier to slide and slouch down into Gomorrah, for lack of a better word. So. What, what do I think? I think that you can. I think that early in your weight loss journey or weight maintenance journey, maybe you wanna be a little, little more uh, cautious about doing that, but I look at my own experience. I eat whatever I want. I mean, there's nothing that I don't eat. And there are a couple of factors that help me. One factor that does not help me is that I'm 50. See, when you're 25, you got a little more leeway. But a couple of factors help me. I do fast. I don't eat till 2.30 to 3 o'clock every day. And then I try to finish eating by 6.30. And so I've been doing this every day for almost coming up to 10 years in November. Yeah, it's already been 10 years. 10 years in November. So I think this helps because by fasting, I'm essentially eating one and a half meals. Because when I break my fast, I normally break it with high fat, high caloric foods that are nutrient dense. So 90% dark chocolate or a, a, a melange of nuts, or a full fat Greek yogurt bowl, or something like that. And then I do that around 2.30, 3 o'clock, and then I'll eat dinner like 5.30. And I pretty much eat whatever I want. So I don't live a life where X, Y, Z is a sin food, or a bad food, or a, na a naughty food. And I think it's important not to connect emotions to food. This is a good food, this is a bad food. I don't think that's a good idea to do that. So one of the things that helps me is that I do fast. The other one is I do work out, or at least try to work out every day, and I think that helps. And these two factors, along with trying to sleep at least nine hours a day and reduce my stress and whatnot, I think all these factors kind of help. Now, if you listen to my personal playlist, Confessions of an Obese Child, and then Revelations of a Weight Loss Warrior, um, I'm very honest in, to say that it hasn't always been this way. If I look at the first five, six years after I lost my weight, when I was in college, I was starving myself Monday to Friday evening, and then I would weigh myself after spending like 40 minutes in the steam room to drop those last pounds, and then I would weigh myself, and then I would just binge eat Friday night all through the weekend, and then uh, starve again on Monday, and I would do that for years, and I was certainly early on this first, I mean, 10 years, 15 years even, uh, calorie in, calorie out. So eventually I got to a point where I don't do that, and fasting, intermittent fasting, has certainly helped crave uh, I should say help curb any of those binge eating uh, desires or impulses that I've had uh, because it it just makes it easier. So in general, since I'm eating a meal and a half, I'm just getting less calories. And so I'm not saying that intermittent fasting is, is good for everybody. Uh, we've talked about it here before, like the, the weight loss benefits of it in terms of your body tapping into the fat reserves, uh, but it doesn't really appeal to everybody in some people's bodies don't react well to intermittent fasting, just like they don't react well to a keto diet. But certainly, if you're losing the weight or wanting to maintain your weight for decades like I have, it's definitely something that I would consider working on, uh, working on that kind of forbearance to be able not to eat and to have the shortest eating window that you can possibly have. So guys, I think it is possible to live a life where you can eat whatever you want, so long as it's in moderation and you do other biohacks. Guys, post in the comments. I'd love to hear from you if you agree or disagree. Until next time, take care. God bless and pray.